Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. Today we will learn how to use spreadsheet and adjust block in Aspen Hisense. To use these two tools, we will take one example of removing hydrogen from the mixture using cooler and flash separator and we will define our two specifications which need to be met during this simulation which we will meet using spreadsheet and adjust block. So going to the problem statement, we have been given a feed mixture in which 55% hydrogen, 25% ethylene, 10% methane and 10% ethane is present. It is quite obvious that hydrogen has more contribution in this mixture as compared to other components. So we have to remove hydrogen from this stream. The flow rate of the mixture is 1000 kg mol per hour. The pressure is 20 bar and temperature is minus 50 degree centigrade. And we have to separate hydrogen from this mixture with two conditions that number one is ethylene present in hydrogen stream should be less than 2% and second one is the mole fraction of hydrogen in the separated stream should be less than 0 0.02. So we will meet these two specifications using spreadsheet and adjust block in Aspen Hysis. So quickly going to Aspen Hysis. In Aspen Hysis, I have already added four components hydrogen, ethylene, ethane and methane and for this I have selected pangrobinson. So quickly going to simulation and we have been given the information that we need to add cooler placed over here and flash separator this separator placed over here and we have to carry out the separation using these two blocks in Aspen Hysis. So we will first do the connections as you see I have made the connections inlet is M1 outlet is M2 and energy stream is E1. So regarding M1, it's given as minus 50 degree centigrade, 20 bar, 1000 kg mole per hour and the composition is 0.55 for hydrogen, 0.25 for ethylene, 0.1 for ethane and 0.1 for methane. So click OK and again I will go back and we haven't given any information regarding the cooler block. We have been just given the information that we have to use cooler block and flash separator. As you know, in cooler block, we need to add two parameters because its degree of freedom is two and these two parameters can be temperature, pressure, vapor perfection or heat flow. So we haven't given any information about the stream. So we will take heat flow as zero and there is no pressure drop in the system so 20. So the stream inlet is the stream outlet in cooler block. Similarly doing the connections for flash separator connections have been completed and as you see once after completing the connections, this equipment has converged. It means its degree of freedom is zero. And as you can see into going into the worksheet that in M4, which is the liquid, no flow rate is present. Well, all the flow rate, which is 1000 kg mole per hour is going to the vapor side. Now we will use spreadsheet and adjust block to meet our specifications, which were ethylene present in hydrogen stream should be less than 2%. And the mole fraction of hydrogen in the separated stream should be less than 0 0.02. This is to be noted here that vapor pressure of hydrogen is higher than the remaining components. It means that hydrogen will be obtained in the vapor stream which is M3 and remaining components will be obtained in the liquid stream. So spreadsheet block is placed over here. You can even write in search and you can find it. I will click on it and I will place over here. Double click on it and going to the spreadsheet. Now this is the same as that of Excel. Here we will take the values and we will see how it works. So firstly we have been given the condition that ethylene present in hydrogen stream which is the vapor stream should be less than 2%. So we will check ethylene in the feed and ethylene in the liquid. So what would you do? You right click on it, add import variable and ethylene in the feed stream means M1. You will click M1 and then you will go to molar flow, master component molar flow because you are taking the mole values. If you will take mass values, then you will select mass flow, ethylene, click on it and done it as we have discussed in our case study. So you can see it's 250 kg mole per hour and ethylene liquid again add import variable which is M4 and similarly select molar flow ethylene click here and as you see it's zero. It means that all the ethylene is going to vapor stream. If I will calculate lost ethylene, it will be B1, which is this one, 
माइनस बी टू ओवर बी वन बी वन माइनस बी टू ओवर बी वन इट मीन्स इथाइलीन इज गोइंग टू वेपर स्ट्रीम एंड द लॉस ऑफ इथाइलीन इज हंड्रेड परसेंट नाउ वी हैव टू एडजस्ट दिस This is the role of spread sheet over here till now that we have defined what is ethylene in feed, ethylene in liquid stream, and lost ethylene. Close it. Click on adjust block, which is placed over here. So double click adjust block. We have to define adjusted variable and target variable. Obviously, our target variable is to control the lost ethylene. But what we will adjust to do this? It is this heat duty. because once we will vary this heat duty separation will take place in this flash separator so in object we will select variable and that will be of e100 which is our cooler its duty and we will select it similarly what we will select over here what is our target variable it is the amount or percentage of lost ethylene where it is placed it is placed in this spreadsheet and where it is placed it is placed at cell b3 so it means that in select variable we will go to spreadsheet 1 and we will select b3 and what is the specified target value it was 2% 0.02 after that we need to select the step size step size of adjusted variable which is over heat duty we can define any value like 1000 kilocalories per hour these maximum and minimum are optional if you haven't any information of these values then there is no harm maximum iterations that how many times the solution should run i will give it as 100 and what i will do i will start the work and you see after 100 iterations this haven't solved yet and adjust block is asking do you wish to continue for an other 100 iterations definitely yes i have varied the iterations to 500 and as you see the block has converged so there are two options either to continue with this or directly give the value of maximum iteration now we need to check whether our requirements have been met or not and these will be checked at the outlet of this flash separator so what we will do we will go to composition and as you see our first requirement was ethylene lost to the hydrogen stream should be less than 2% which is in m3 as you see here hydrogen is 0.9124 91.24% it's 0.87% ethylene it's 0.12% and remaining amount is methane so as you see that ethylene which is going to the hydrogen stream is less than 2% which is 0.87% so our first condition has been met second one is the mole fraction of hydrogen in the separated stream should be less than 0.02 and as you see this value is 0.0085 far below our required value so this is how you use the spreadsheet and adjust block to meet your specifications so that's all from my side for today simulation please do watch the video like the video and subscribe the channel aspentech channel till then goodbye